Hey there, it's Anya. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm here um, recording my empties for the last week of June, and this does include picks or props. No, this does include choices for the wax melting challenge and then whatever I decided to melt in the evening. <laughs> so, like, I would do. <coughs> Excuse me, I would do the wax melting prompts for my morning melt, and then when I would want to change my wax, um, I would usually melt whatever I uh, wanted to in the evening. So, if you want to see what I melted through this last week of June, then just keep on watching. <laughs> Um, I do have one non-wax item here. Actually, I also have my cutters in my basket because I keep a piece of cardboard from packages from mail. Because um, I can't find my cutting board that I have designated that I purchased just for wax. I have no idea where it vanished off to. I have a sneaking suspicion it may be my son's teen, my bedroom, his bedroom. I can't find it anywhere else where it would be in the last place I remember seeing it it's not there so anyway um, I have makeshift cutting boards throughout the area that I keep my wax I'm tired if you can't tell I've got bags underneath my eyes I did <laughs> I did take a shower today I did do my hair I had at least the energy to put contacts in um, it's about like 9 30 and I'm not exactly tired just yet so I mean I look exhausted but um, I figured I would do my empties and there's a few unempties in here and talk about what I did so first thing um, is a body wash from Bath and Body Works this is in Matt about you There are no scent notes on this, but this is like a very fruity, very girly scent. I want to say there's apple, maybe like peach, or some sort of berry. That doesn't help anything, but a friend of mine, many, many years ago, she wore this um, when I worked at the hospital, and she and I were... Um, we had become close pretty quick and she was always smelling amazing. I'm like, Jenna, I need to know what it is you're wearing and it was this. So this has been long retired, but they bring it back out every once in a while. And I was hoarding this bottle because I had like literally one enough for like one shower's worth of gel and I just finished it this last week. So sad to see this go, but mad about you. It's fantastic. If I can find the scent notes, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Also finished up a bag of the Jumbo 200 count Walmart cotton balls. Love those. $1.94 here. Um, I've got like one more left in my stash before um, I need to go get some more. Okay. Okay, so I, I didn't put any unempties in here. This is all empty. So cool. Um, I don't remember what when I left off. So we'll just start digging in here. I do know, okay, so we're going to be out of order. I'm sorry if your OCD can't handle this. If you don't like willy-nilly, uh, spontaneous, or chaotic oh, wax empties, then this is probably not the video for you and probably not the channel. Um, I'm just going to dig through here and I'll tell you what the prompt correlated with if I can remember. Um, so this was for 
Melt scent. It's for like a carnival. Or circus. Okay. For the 28th was pick a circus style scent. A scent. And I went with Under the Big Top. Um, this is from my sampler from Zape in Tilt -a Whirl. And then I had a half a claim here of it was a sample bottle that I had poured for my sister and I, and this is Boardwalk Funnel Cake. Essentially, these would be the same. Um, the notes are funnel cake, strawberries, and whipped cream. This one is fried dough, whipped cream, and mixed berries. actually like this more than this. This had like an off-putting caramely note to the funnel cake. Um, it actually was pretty strong, though. I cut this in half and used one half in each of my tea lights. And then I did the other four cubes the same day um, in the living room. Um, and I liked the Boardwalk Funnel Cake one because it actually had like the berries. And I could smell the berries. I could smell a hint of the fried dough and just the light airiness from that whipped cream. It's fantastic. Um, I also went out of order on my melting prompts. I had, apparently had skipped a day. So, um, anywho, for the 29th was melt and almond scent. So I picked almond croissants. Um, I'm going to say this bar, this particular bar was in the round robin. It has a flat back. And this is notes of, well, I mean, it literally just smells like an almond danish. It's supposed to have cinnamon sugar. I really don't pick up on this cinnamon sugar, and my nose is very sensitive to, like, spiced scents. Oh, and I got a crack in here. Well, that's dumb. I will have to bag that, because I still have four cubes left. Um, it didn't last very long. And this normally is, like, an all-dayer. I'm talking, like, 12... To 16 hours and probably will still go through the night if I don't change the warmer so it may be a little older and I don't remember the year that they changed it to the flat or to the embossed back so that will go back in my collection but I actually have a bag here so will you do some that um I know for my samples Actually, I have no idea what I melted for my samples. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, the 30th of melted sample. This is from K Scented Wax Melts. This is Pumpkin Loves Coconut. It's hard to see because of the glare. Um, but this is Coconut Cream Pie, Pumpkin Cupcakes, and Cider Lane. Those two pumpkin shapes put these both in my tea lights, and it was fantastic. I remember when I first got this last October, I wasn't really digging it, but I have come around to the richness that coconut cream pie has. Um, I don't know what it is about the combination of the pumpkin cupcake and the cider lane, but this was fantastic and I would definitely repurchase that. Also on the almond day, I kind of made it less heavy in the air, so I melted some of Birdie's making sense. Um, butter late than never, which is lemon sugar cake, lemon poppy seed, blueberry muffin, and sugar cookie dough. This was like a stick of butter, and I still have plenty left of this to go. Um, this was actually kind of light smelling. It smells intense in the bag. I definitely pick up more of the lemon and the blueberries in the background. But it is a very lovely lemon scent. I'm gonna try this maybe in a smaller space and see if it does butter. And it's only a year old, so there should be no, I mean, I shouldn't have any problem with that. Um, for the 26th was melt a coconut scent. So I melted my whole bar of pink coconut by Scentsy. This is raspberry, pink clay, coconut cream. This is my very last bar. Um, this was a scent of the month back in February. Is it February 20, 
I love this. This was fresh. It's like in the fresh category. I don't really catch any like the earthiness, but it does have like if chalk and clay have a scent, <laughs> that's kind of, you kind of get that mixed with the coconut and the raspberry. I really did enjoy this scent. Um, in fact, I didn't finish melting this because it this one goes very long for me. Um, so I actually peeled it out of my Scentsy dishes and I have it to melt to finish off in the bathroom. So I have several of the dishes worth of pink coconut to finish. I'm trying to find the Beach Nights scent. There's a 27th, which was Melted Beach Nights type scent. If I skip that or what? Yeah, I have no clue. The bougie in here. <laughs> I'm trying to find the one with the word one word prompts, one word name. And I guess it's not in here. Okay, so we'll just continue on. Um, I finished up this big bag here of. Uh, black magic black magic melts and blueberry cobbler and also melted a sample tester of blueberry cheesecake in my tea light this was fantastic i had gotten this in um, a desash box from summer um i'm still deciphering the blueberry oils that i like but this one was very good it did pretty well and it was like in the shape of halloween shapes very fun um finished up in my kitchen this is Sweets from Krampus from Britta's Creepy Treasure, Treasures. I couldn't speak for anything. Christine gifted this to me. And this is Snow Fairy, Angel Food Cake, and Cotton Candy. This is very intense on the cotton candy, but you still get like that cake note from the Angel Food Cake. And I think Snow Fairy has a bit of like a, a zing to it. Maybe sort of like some sort of bubbly or effervescence. Maybe a little citrus. This is a very, very sweet scent. Um, so I use this in the kitchen. I would use like maybe one to two pieces of the shape that I had. I think I cut this in eight and it was very strong. Very pleased with what I've tried from Britta's. Oh, yesterday. This was an evening melt for me. Um, and I melted, actually my, this was a, my hat, I did hat trick, which is caramel tobacco, funnel cake, and cotton candy. And this pour was in 100% soy wax. Um, and in my tea light, I melted from second and spruce. I love Fonzie. And this was a slice that took off my sister's, she allowed me to take a slice off her cake bite. This is tobacco, Apollo, smoky embers, and smoked vanilla. Love this. This was still going in the morning. This had tapered off to just the Apollo and the smoky embers. The tobacco and the smoked vanilla kind of fizzled out first in the tea light, but that's a, to be expected. It's, it's, it's hot, <laughs> so um, I would definitely get this again. I love Fonzie. It was fantastic. And hat trick. I love it, so. Um, it's definitely, you definitely get a caramel tobacco with hat trick. You definitely get the cotton candy, the uh, specific cotton candy oil that I used in this. It actually says in the name of the oil, super strong. So it's very fragrant. Something about the cotton candy and the caramel tobacco really play very well together. So really pleased with how that one turned out. I don't know if I'm going to go to soy, but I was just, it was one of those like test formula sort of situations. Um... In the kitchen and in the living room, I did a blend of key lime, frosted lime, cupcake, strawberry pound cake, and baked pie crust. And this was a like a four and a half ounce souffle cut into several pieces. This was such a banger. Very creamy, very, very limey. Um, and I don't know if it was only the key lime or that frosted lime cupcake, but the two of those combined together just really cleared the air 
but it's still gourmand and delicious and the strawberry pound cake toned down the sharp edges of the lime so I really am pleased with how that came out um, this was a clam of the oh the Cheriosa 71 Sol de Janeiro type I had acquired one of the oils from one of my suppliers I freaking am obsessed with this scent. <laughs> I love this scent. I would love to get this in the line from Sol de Janeiro. I might even just, I have a body spray base, so I may just have whipped some up for myself and a body butter. I might just have to do that <laughs> for a gift to myself. But anyway, caramel, macadamia, tonka, it's, it's so good. But it's not super heavy on the caramel, which it's not a dark, ooey gooey caramel. It's light and fluffy like a caramel drizzle on a macchiato. Fantastic. Oh, this was so good. It's such a banger. This is Winter Farmhouse from Teddy Bees. This is notes of sugar cane, rosemary, blue spruce, teakwood, sweet, sweet mint. My southern one's coming out. Sweet mint, Palo Santo, and light florals. This was a half a souffle that I got in the round robin. Melissa put this in there. This is so, so pretty. I don't think she got very much from it, but in my home, my ceilings aren't that high. I mean, they're still tall enough where I can't touch them, but I don't know what this, what it was about the specific blend, but I loved that you get I get the sugar cane and rosemary mint right off the top. The light florals and the woodsy notes kind of, they're a very good solid base. But this performed for 24 hours. I was very impressed in my open concept area. So I would get that again. It was refreshing, outdoorsy, very pretty. I would love to have something like that, like a signature Christmas or winter scent. Um, from the Starlet Corner, this is Socrates, which is blue sugar, let them eat cake, cashmere clouds, and cashmere cream. Um, this was poured in January of 23. Cindy had gifted this to me in, I wouldn't say it was an order, but she, um, had offered up her Richard's mustache and it packed a lot of other waxes in there for me to try, and this was so good. I think I need to figure out what cashmere clouds smells like on its own. I love cashmere cream. I'm really enjoying blue sugar, so I would definitely get this again if um, Ashley offered that again. Actually, let me put that over here. Um, another bit from Teddy Bee's. This was gifted to me from Summer. This is Trickin' and Treatin', which is blue sugar, which is pink sugar, I'm not blue, purple sugar. <laughs> Which is pink sugar and blue sugar mixed together, beach treats and vanilla cake pops. Um, I am trying to make room in my Teddy Bee's under the bed basket. It's like huge. It actually used to belong on my son's diaper changing table. Um, it was like a storage basket, but anyway, it's really big. Um, so I'm trying to make room in there for the upcoming pre-order and really enjoy some of the things that I have been allowed to try. This I did several times. I melted a few times here in the bedroom. I think this was like a maybe three ounces worth. I don't know what format this was in that I took a slice off of. But anyway, so um, I used pieces about silver dollar size really thin though like everything that I had I like it was like a, a slice that I took off and then I cut that in half and then cut made like eight cuts so I had eight chunks of wax in here um, so I did it like there's four warmers I did in the living room two use two tea lights and then two of my hotter warmers and pink sugar blue sugar beach streets vanilla cake pops I would definitely get tricking and treating again that was so pretty really enjoyed that 
um, one night in, like I did an overnight melt. And this is from Ebony and Ivory Wax Co. This was from Cindy. This is in cinnamon French toast. This was delicious. Um, this is cinnamon, vanilla, and French toast. Um, this was a half of a shot cup, so I cut that half in half. Mm, this was so bready and just, it was just perfectly balanced with the cinnamon, vanilla, and the French toast. Not heavy on maple syrup notes. This was buttery, bready, and cinnamon sugar. I would definitely, definitely get that again. Mmm, I've been warming some colder weather things. Um, this is a blend I did back in December. This is called Candy Corn Cuppy. And this is Pumpkin Spice Buttercream Candy Corn and Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I, this is like a four ounce clam. So these hearts are freaking huge, but this was enough to scent for a day and a half in my living room. This is so decadent with the candy corn and that buttercream playing off of the cupcakes at Tiffany's. It's absolutely delicious and I am going to plan on pouring this for the fall lineup. I think I might try to do um, something like August, maybe early September for like fall ish types of scents, Halloween, Thanksgiving, things like that. Um, and here in my bedroom, I did my original one of, I had two, poured two test clams. So this is the last one of the Raz Upside Down that I did. This is pineapple upside down cake, raspberry lemonade, lemon icebox cookies, and fresh picked strawberries, or raspberries. It's reminding me of sparkling yellow with extra raspberry goodness with a bakery element and this I'm really happy with how this turned out it wasn't strong though but pineapple lemon and fruit anything like that it's not gonna last all day long but this was delicious while it was going I don't remember oh maybe it did I don't know this is from Summer. She gifted me some of this sm that smell good shop of zucchini pastries, which is sweet ice pastries and zucchini bread. I had six of these left. She actually originally gave me a 12 pack, but um, also I really just love the shape of her cubes or their cubes at that smell good shop. It's just they fit perfectly in here. <laughs> I don't know. I just love it. This is so delicious. I would definitely get something like that again. This is definitely not a savory zucchini. The zucchini complemented the iced pastries and it was delicious. Um, this was two little tiny shapes. I want to say it's Cam Jack Wax of Apple Cider, Patchouli, and Palo. This was delicious. I put this in my tea light. I don't remember. It was recent, within like the weekend. Um, in my bathroom, I melted two testers here of Scentsy, Mickey Mouse and Friends, along with Tangerine Creamsicle. I want to love this so bad, but I just don't. It just smells off to me. I would rather have Rainbow Sherbet all day long, or just a good juicy orange. And Mickey Mouse has like banana and peach and something. Not my favorite. Very glad to finish those off. Some really old testers that I'm trying to get through. Um, and then this is a scent that I'm offering my next opening. And it is so nice. Um, <laughs> and I am, I'm not trying to toot my own horn, but I really am pleased with how this came out. This is brown, called Safe Space. This is brown sugar and fig, caramel tobacco, marshmallow cream, warm vanilla sugar with a hint of vanilla waffle cones. I put this in my tea light warmer and I didn't want to go anywhere. I love brown sugar and fig. I have never had that candle from Bath and Body Works or any of the body stuff. So when I got the oil, I was like, I need to put this in everything. <laughs> 
it pairs very well with the caramel tobacco. The brown sugar and fig and the warm vanilla sugar both have like that vanilla orchid note and you get the brown sugar, a whole bunch of sugar. <laughs> we got a whole sugar situation going on in here, but this is so good. Um, kind of body care leaning, but it just co gives you cozy vibes, like a, like a warm hug. Um, yeah, so that is called Safe Space, and that will be available in my next opening, which will be happening, I believe, this weekend. Yeah. And that is it. That's all I've gotten through this last week in June. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this chaotic video. I hope you guys have an amazing and safe 4th of July, and I will catch you in the next one. Take care and enjoy. Bye.